Hi, I'm Darren, this is Amanda and Orn. Today we're in Patong in Phuket for part two of our Phuket right now video. This is normally the busiest beach in Phuket. As you can see, it's virtually deserted. Very different to last time we were here. In this video, we're gonna be showing you some of the main parts of Phuket. First off, Patong during the day. In part one, we showed you Patong at night and some of the food here, as well as some of the other areas around Phuket. Today, we're gonna to be showing you Patong and then Kata and Karon. And after that, we're gonna show you Phuket Town. Let's go check out Phuket. The road along the beach here is really quiet. There's no one on the streets, hardly anyone at the beach. Lots of businesses are closed, as you can see. On the bright side, I guess, it's the first time I've ever seen parking like this on the beach. Even away from the beach, all the roads are deserted. Most shops and businesses are closed in Patong. This is normally the busiest part of Patong. We're approaching Bungla Road here on the right. And as you can see, there's no pedestrians, hardly any traffic. The town of Carter Beach is virtually the same. The occasional motorbike. Most shops and businesses are closed. Even the 7-Elevens are closed here. The beach though is looking great. There's a few more people here it seems than Patong Beach. The beach is looking beautiful. It's a great day today. Uh, another market in Kata, but not much else open. Ice cream, about 10 stalls here. A Thai, Pass, Rotis, Pancake, Cook to Order. A spot here right on the beach. Okay, you want to go to the restaurant? Yeah? Oh, he wants to go there. See what they got here first. Fruit shakes and fruit. My favorite, dried squid. Not so keen on this one myself. Pretty much all the standards. Looks like he wins out off to the restaurant. So we were planning on going to the Pad Thai restaurant in Karon. Went past there and they were completely shut. Yeah? Yeah, we go to the restaurant. Okay. Nice. Right on the beach. Pretty up. See your friend. How are you? Good? No, living cubby. Come to make a video though. Yeah. And you? Come for holiday. Yes, your mum. I remember. Sorry cup. Thank you. Lunch time, the food looks good. Yeah, nice spot too, very beautiful out here. Good day too, perfect weather. You got caprao with squid. We got a pork fried rice. We got chicken with garlic for Ananda and I got a pad siu with seafood. All looks good. How's the caprao? Try already. 
No? Mm. Mm. Nice charred flavour. Got a shiitake mushroom there, a few bits of squid, lots of kale, a couple of prawns, and a few bits of fish. That's pretty good, yeah? Normally I find in Thailand the closer you get to the beach, the worse the food gets, but this one begs to differ. Can I try that one? Try some of your squid. Get some rice. Mm, quite spicy. I didn't get much of the sauce, just got some squid. Not bad, out of 10. Seven out of 10. And Anders looks good, and he's been enjoying that, as you can see. It's good, the chicken. Mm, a little bit salty, actually. Mm. Mm. Nice and moist, though. Actually quite salty, but garlicky. And then the fried rice. It's got some big bits of pork, some onion, tomato, green onion and egg. Not bad. Quite a bit of onion flavour in there. Yeah, smoky from the wok. They obviously know how to use their hot wok here. I think overall though, mine's the pick of the bunch. Mm. We're in Kata. It's a beautiful little town, one of our favourite towns in Phuket. But it's like a ghost town at the moment, driving through, virtually nothing open. I'm surprised that this restaurant's open actually. But there's a few people coming and going. There's a big table behind us, and there's another six people plus us, and some more arriving as we speak. Beautiful outlook though. Nice and shady here as well. Good spot. Good view. Mm, very good view. So I went exploring Kato last night, and again, very, very quiet. Virtually everything's shut. There are a couple of little bar areas that are open, but very, very quiet. Most shops are closed. Most restaurants were closed. There were a few that were open, but overall it was like a zombie town. It actually was quite eerie walking around last night by myself. There were a few bars with people, and everyone seemed to be having a good time. This is Karon Main Street. As you can see, nothing open. No one on the street, only me. Last night I was here and it was virtually the same. There were a few bars that were open just in a little hub here. But apart from that, everything is pretty much closed, even the 7-Elevens. I went to the beach just before and there was literally one other person on the beach besides myself. It's very quiet here, devastating for Caron. Really sad given the current state compared to how it used to be. Our second and last stop, this is Phuket's biggest weekend market, Naka Marka, also known as Chafa Variety Market. Let's go see how this place looks. In general, this market looks like it always has. Plenty of variety in clothes and stuff, but there's obviously some stores that are now closed. It's pretty much always been closed stores here. This place is huge. Heaps of variety. You can get pretty much everything here. Clothes, bags, and there's loads of street food here too. Shoes, kids clothes, bikinis and bathers watches, jewellery. If you want to go shopping in Phuket, pretty hard to beat this place. What do you say, mister? You on the eggs? One of his favourites. They empty the egg, then they mix it with soya sauce and some stock powder and then fill it up again and cook it, usually over charcoal. Mm, I'll have to try one of those. Now, oh, an e-cup. Bang mo. Bang mo. Lots of ice, some sugar syrup and some water. Bang cup. 
Looks good. In the past, this was a big restaurant strip on the left-hand side of this mall. A lot of the restaurants are closed as well. That is good. Very strong watermelon taste. A little sweet and icy cold. Just what I need, it's rather warm today. Still lots of choices. The chicken shop has survived. This is the best looking chicken at this market. Cooked over charcoal. Amazing aroma of herbs coming off that. Well that sold me. Sorry. Which bitch. Open cup. And get some chicken liver too. Top to eight cup. Hot sip, mayo tun you cup. Mayo tun. Cup. Uh, okay, yeah. Happen cup. We got a little restaurant section here. And there's some spoons and forks. Let's try it out. Got some top. Mmm. It's good. Some garlic. Garlic. Yeah. Mmm. Try the chicken. Very moist. Mm. Mm. So actually, the flavour of the chicken is milder than that of the, the, the liver. Yeah, a bit salty. Yeah, mildly. With sauce. Mm. Let's try this sauce. Mm. Spicy. Good dipping sauce. Spicy, sweet, and sour. Been walking past this one for many years and always had a huge lineup. Shopping experience here is much better than it used to be, a lot less crowded, easier to get to stuff, but unfortunately there is a bit less range. Still, a lot of very tasty food there. I've actually seen some of the shops have dropped their prices as well. This market used to be very touristy, not really at all local, it was just Westerners and Chinese tourists who came here, but now they're dependent on the domestic market, so things have got cheaper. Join this. We'll try the egg, and Anders already been popping into them. How's that? Good? He's eating two of them now, yeah. So he said, not really authentic. Yeah, it doesn't have the same color range as the ones we get in Krabby. Normally they're darker than this. Which tastes eggy. Normally they're peppery and, and salty. Not bad. What do you have? Squid legs. squid legs. There's always lots of squid at markets in Thailand. Honey cap. Fried banana. Okay. Sample. Hapun cap. No sugar? Mmm. Yum. They are good. Chao dai kap. Sounds good. Okay. Nung chung kap. Ao mi kem kap. Mao wan kap. 30 baht. And that is a big bag. Something you gotta try. Tastes more or less like a potato chip. Five right, fish cakes. A lot of people down that aisle. So there's three aisles of food. And this aisle seems to have a few less shops as well. So maybe some of them are closed. And waffles. They look good. What do you have? Good. <laughs> so we got gyozas. What do you Fab shop. Overall, still plenty of choices, but less than what they used to be. One Orn did a recipe for recently on her channel. Mika tea. So the cup. Ao ani chako chan tale. Okay, our cup. These you do not see very often. They're a pretty care specialty. We got many names around the world. Gonna reheat them back there. 
some good looking prawn cakes as well. And their shrimps look delicious, as does their fish. Stick to eat them with and a sauce, hap on carp. So overall still good range of food here, pretty popular still but not what it was but in some ways there's a better shopping experience, less crowds but obviously the vendors are going to be suffering unfortunately. Try this little guy out, he looks good. Crunchy, kind of like a cross between a prawn and a crab flavour. Sweet, good seafood flavour, do like these so I try and get them every time I come to Phuket. Let's head on to our next stop. This is our final stop. This market's known as the big market, Lad Yai, to the locals. And this one is obviously thriving because it's actually doubled in size. This whole section didn't used to be here before COVID. It's always had great food, great local experience. It's a lot less crowded than it used to be, but still very popular by the look. Let's go find some food. As I said, this market is thriving. Lots of people sitting up there by the statue eating. Lots of food here. This one has always had a great range of local food. Looks like the shopping precinct has expanded. There's also usually lots of local products here. Someone who's watching it like them. Lots of people here. Again, like the last place, less crowded than it used to be. It's probably, in fact, a better shopping experience. Grilled meat, mala. Lots of spots where you can sit and eat. And live music up there as well. That's the new part, and this is the original part of the market over here. It is a big market now. It's always been big, but now it's huge. And as you can see, very, very popular. This market's open every Sunday night. You really would not notice the lack of tourists here much. Popular as ever. As you can see, local life in Phuket hasn't changed too much. Obviously, a lot of people would have less money because Phuket is so dependent on tourism, but this market is obviously thriving. If you want to see more from this market, I'll put a link up here. It's a great market, heaps of food, and as far as I can see, all the food that used to be here is still here now. Great place for street food, great place for shopping, and also live entertainment and a local experience. Hope you've enjoyed the video. You guys take care. All the best to you. See you next time. Bye.